What's up guys? Just got off work. Long day in the heat. I'm sweaty. I'm hot. It's summertime out here in um, central Washington, so it's about 100 degrees or so. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I just kind of... I had something inside me that I feel like I need to share with you guys. You know, I just got off work, like I said. I'm the last guy out here. Last guy um, standing on the job site today. And I really just had an aha moment. So the title of this video is going to be called Keep Pushing Even in a Dead End Job. So what do I mean by this? What I mean is it's been about two years since I've had a raise. It's, it's been a solid year and a half at least since I've had a raise at this job. And the old me used to think, ah, uh, kind of almost a victim mindset where my bosses owe me more money. Like I do, it is true that I, you know, I do a lot of work at my job. I pull a lot of weight and I make a lot of things happen. I can do concrete, I can do excavation, I can do um, <clears throat> exterior plumbing, like like sewer cleanouts and you know like sewer lines. I, I'm, but my specialty is really um, framing and formwork, framing and formwork, and I can lead crews. I can basically do all the beginning stages of, of building a house. I'm not too keen on the finish work. I don't have a lot of experience on the finish work, but the excavation, the concrete foundation, the framing, and maybe even some of the roofing and siding. I can do roofing and siding. But anyway, long story short, I can do a lot. And old me used to think I deserve more money. And it's true, I, do, I need to find a way to get more money but I used to think that, oh, since my bosses aren't going to give me more money, we had, a, we had a meeting a couple years ago where they basically said, you know, you're kind of capped out here. And I don't, my mindset is I don't like that because I don't like being told I'm limited. I don't like being limited. I don't like being put in a box. So my mindset used to be, I'm going to do the bare minimum just to, just to scrape by because I see a lot of other guys doing that around me. So I kind of fell into the trap of just doing the bare minimum because... You know, my bosses aren't going to pay me more money. I'm, I'm no longer going to get any more significant raises. I might get a dollar right here or there, but I'm not going to get any more real raises as far as inflation goes. And so old me used to think doing the bare minimum was okay. Well, recently I've changed that, and that's kind of the whole gist of this video. Even if you're in a dead-end job, you still need to push yourself. You still need to push and push and get better because... Even though you're in a dead end job, you need to continue to learn. You need to continue to push. You can't be getting soft. You can't be getting lazy. You can't be letting yourself slide backwards in life just because someone isn't gonna pay you what you're worth. Because if you continue to push yourself, that'll propel you into the next position. And I wanna to add to that, a dead end job is only a dead end job if you let it be. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be a dead end job. You can seize opportunities wherever you are like right now i'm continuing or i'm choosing to push myself and learn in spite of what my bosses are doing in spite of what they're doing and what they're choosing to pay me i should be making more yes but you know i don't know what their situation is i don't know what my boss's situation is i don't know what their overhead cost is so maybe they really really can't afford to pay me more and still you know pay their own bills and live their own life so I gotta remember that. And I gotta remember to choose to push myself and get better and get faster and get more efficient and learn how to lead guys better and learn how to stay organized and learn how to keep a strong mindset even when I'm not feeling good. Like today, it was hot as hell. I had a slow start. I wasn't feeling good. Mindset was not good. But I picked it up towards the end of the day and pushed myself and kept pushing and eventually I got over that hump and once I got over that hump, you know, I had momentum and I was able to coast down that hill, coast down that hump. So that's what I got for you guys today. I hope this helps someone out there. Um, that's the lesson I had today and that's what I wanted to share with you guys because that's what I'm going through, you know. You still gotta push yourself. 
even if you're working at McDonald's, even if you're working at a, a cash register, there's still ways to push yourself. What's your manager doing? What's the guy next to you doing? What? Find the hardest worker around you and try to beat them. Because yeah, you're not you're not making any more money, but at the same time, you're gonna get better. You're gonna you're gonna build a mindset. You're gonna build a solid core and a solid foundation that when you do spring to the next level, you're gonna have a, a you're not gonna be soft. You're gonna be tough. You're gonna be strong. You're gonna be able to push through those negative thoughts. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll post again soon. Hope you have a great day.